Good morning everyone and welcome to another brand new episode of the Poseidon God of Water 20 show. This chill out still continues with episode 20 of 64. And now let's get on with it because you're watching me like a hawk you might say. So... It's time now. I've got. I say I've got to go. I've got to leave for work at half past nine. While I'm taking my badge off, I don't know. <laughs> um, there it is. Um, <laughs> um, so let's get through this, shall we? Um. Because, uh, obviously, I don't have very long to go before I've got to leave for work. So... So now... Before things get any crazier, I would like to show you this animation. I'm looking after my baby sister today. She'll be put in time out if she's naughty. Here she is, Lily. Hi Sheila. Come here. You must behave here, do you hear me? Yes. If you're naughty, you will be punished. Understood. Have a nice time, be good. Love you. Make yourself at home, Muchkin. Aunt Sheila. Hey, same age as me, nice. Off you girls go and play. Don't be naughty, or trouble. I think we ought to change your nappy first. Sheila, good girl. Almost done. All done now. Hi, you two. Hi, Mum. Is Aunt Sheila here yet? She is, and she and Olivia are upstairs playing. They're bound to be naughty at some point. They've been warned. In the meantime, Lizzie and I have homework. Off you go and get started. Sheila, are you okay? Change my nappy. Are you wet or messy? Or both? Both. I think I'd better check. Wait a minute. There's nothing in there. Your nappy is perfectly clean and dry. You told me a fib. That's very naughty. I will not have this. Get to the corner, right now. You do not fib to me about needing an appy change and get away with it. You are a very 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 naughty girl. Why is Aunt Sheila in the corner? Because she's been naughty. <coughs> Olivia Laura Barrett, I want nappies on you. Why? Because you've just messed yourself, and that's very naughty. So, it's a nappy for you. But. No buts. You are having an appeal, and you are having one on now. Lay down, and I'll change your bum. Clean you up and put one of Aunt Sheila's nappies on you, pooing in your knickers. No knickers for you. A nappy is just what you need. Cleaned up. Nappy time. If you're going to poo in you knickers, you're going to have nappies on. The nappy stays on until you need changing. Back upstairs now. And keep your nappy on. Naughty girl. Okay guys, that was our animation for this episode. Now guys, uh, before we move on with this episode, I would just like to say something. Now we can move on. Um, with this video, just take a look at it. Hello, every pony, and welcome. 
to lesson four of Study with Twilight. Now, the only thing that's going to make this episode different, two actually, two things. One, we're not going to be using the internet to research the subject because it's fairness and friendship, so we already know about it anyway. And two, all of the main six are here. Of course, my main helper, Twilight, will be on screen the whole time. And the other five members of the main six will come up when they're needed. So, let's see, uh, Twilight. Okay. It's obviously, she represents the most important element of friendship, magic. Now, fairness and friendship. Friendship couldn't actually exist without fairness, which should be the seventh element, really. I see Twilight agrees. So it should be the seventh element, but it isn't. And it also couldn't exist without forgiveness, which should be the eighth element. But that's not one either. So, the fairness and friendship. Friendship in my Little Pony Friendship is Magic is split into six sections. Magic, as, you've all, as we've already established. Uh, then we have Generosity, which is very well represented, sorry Rarity, by this unicorn mare here, Rarity. Now, in the second episode of Friendship is Magic, she displays her lord, uh, sorry Rarity, her generosity by helping a sea serpent replenish his moustache. And yes, her cutie mark is three diamonds, because her special talent is Finding gemstones. Well, the reason Twilight has a magic star for her cutie mark is that her special talent is magic. Now, of course, generosity couldn't exist without its main companion. Well, actually, without any of its main companions at its side. Kindness, as represented by Fluttershy, the cutest pony of the lot. Her special talent is talking to animals, and why her cutie mark is free butterflies. In the second episode, she displays her kindness by helping a manticore relieve its paw of a thorn and taming it. As Twilight has very rightly pointed out, she also has the convincing a dragon to leave its cave to her credit from the episode Dragon Shy. Oh yes, I haven't forgotten. Don't worry. Don't worry, Flash Eye. And then there's also the time Discord had her break her element. I'm surprised she actually remembered that. And then there was also Iron Will who did the same thing. Gave her bad advice. So, that's generosity and kindness done and out of the way. The next element friendship could not exist without is one for is, is honesty. Presented very well by Applejack here, 
and of course her destiny was to work on an apple farm and her cutie mark is three apples now in the second episode she displays her honesty while trying to reassure Twilight here that she wouldn't fall to her death from a cliff what I'm telling you is the honest truth Yes, Applejack. Oh. <laughs> Whoa there, Nelly. Okay, guys. But honesty is another key element of friendship. So you must be honest with your friends. And if they need reassuring, they need it from you. Okay, now, the fifth such element that friendship could not exist without is, of course, laughter. As presented here by Pinkie Pie. He has a lot of laughter added to her credit for her element simply because well she's there to cheer any pony up who's down in the dumps and show them a good time now the very first thing she did after seeing the sonic rain boom in her flashback in the cutie mark chronicles episode was she threw her family a party and that's how she earned her cutie mark, the three blooms. One yellow and two blue. Another key element of friendship is being able to make your friends laugh, even if you're not trying to. And I see Pinky agrees. And the first thing she treats us to in the series is a random song about conquering your fears with laughter. But one of my favourite Pinky moments was when she tried to make friends with Cranky in A Friend Indeed. Oh, bless you. Bless you, Pinky. Well, plenty of time for hugs later, okay? And the final element is another one of the most important when it comes to friendship because you must show loyalty as presented here by Rainbow Dash. In the second episode, that's Friendship is Magic Part 2, she shows this to her friends by refusing to abandon them for her dream of becoming a Wonder Ball after being almost tempted by Nightmare Moon's elite team of flyers, the Shadow Bolts. Now, she first performed the Sonic Rain Boom as a little filly and realised that her destiny was to control the weather, hence her cutie mark, the cloud with a lightning shaped rainbow. And other loyal moments include, yep, Rainbow, I'm getting there. I know I'm about to list more of your moments of loyalty, despite that being your element. Okay, Rainbow Dash. Um, she also has two well-known catchphrases. One of them being, I am awesome, or that is awesome, and it needs to be about 20% cooler. Mm. 
No, it doesn't. This is cool enough already. <laughs> Loyalty, as I said, is one of the most important elements of friendship. But none of these five elements down here could exist without magic. The most important element of friendship. Now, friendship obviously it does have its ups and downs at times. Like say sometimes, even though you're supposed to have fairness in friendship, sometimes it might seem unfair. But we'll get to that later. Now, as I understand it, Rarity wants to come up and say something. So, Rarity. I believe you wanted to come up and say something. I oh, didn't talk about any of the favourite moments from you. Well, this is meant to be a lesson about fairness and friendship. Yes, Twilight? Oh, yeah, of course. Okay, some of my favourite rarity moments include... When she first helped a sad creature, that's in uh, Friendship with Magic Part 2. That's the Manticorn again. Um, some of my other favourite moments from this lovely little mare here is episode 19 of season 1. When she's in the diamond, sorry, in the crystal mine with the diamond dogs. And um, well, they call her a mule and complain at her to stop moaning or stop whining. It doesn't surprise you that that's one of my favorite moments or rarity. I think it's entertaining when you whine. And a very touching but also favourite moment from season 2 is when Rarity realises how wrong she was to want to get rid of Sweetie Belle after seeing her Arts and Crafts project. Okay, now. Some of my favourite Twilight moments. I've got to talk about the Twilight. Some of my favourite Twilight moments include... Well, this must be a lesson about fairness and friendship. Get on with it. Okay, okay, Twilight. <laughs> Some of my favourite Twilight moments include... When she was stressing out about being tardy with a report to Princess Celestia worrying that she was going to get sent back a grade to Magic Kindergarten but needless to say that didn't happen and I have to say another one of my favourite moments of her would be when she realised how important it was to have friends. Hence these five down here. Her best friends. Now your best friend is the most important friend you'll ever have. So basically if you don't have a best friend. Then well you don't know what you're missing out on. But to have five best friends, now that is something. Now, uh, some of my favourite Rainbow Dash moments. Okay. 
Uh, might be a bit hard to choose. Some of my favourite Rainbow Dash moments would be, okay, one of them, I know for sure, would be when you first meet her in the series. How she introduces herself. Or how we are introduced to her. Another favourite moment is in Wonderbolt Academy when she chooses to give up her dream for her friends. Okay, now some of my favourite Applejack moments, I know, well, personal favourite is in Applebuck season when she refuses to let her friends help her in a time of desperate need and of course who can forget when she tried to buff all those apples off the trees at the beginning not heeding Big Macintosh's warning yup She eventually did accept her friend's help. How do you like them apples? <laughs> anyway, um, now, where are my favourite Fluttershy moments? I think I've already mentioned these. But, some of her cutest moments include... Oh, Fluttershy! And yes, okay. Bravest moments. I've already mentioned those. But she has way more than that to her credit. So, okay, fairness and friendship. They go hand in hand together. And if it hadn't been for Twilight in the first place, big nod here from the first episode, or the second episode, um, would be when she helped these five to realise how important they are. That they each represent one of the six elements, or in this case other five elements, of friendship. Yes. Now... So, that would be, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to tell this in the exact order it happens, but that would be Rainbow Dash, who would not abandon her friends for her dreams, represents the spirit of loyalty. Pinkie Pie, who taught us to laugh in the face of danger represents the spirit of laughter Applejack who reassured Twilight of her safety when she was about to fall off a cliff represents the element and spirit of honesty as we've already established. Fluttershy! Oh, bless you. You tamed... What should it be? A fearsome beast. The manticorn. <clears throat> Represents... The spirit of kindness and rarity. You calmed a serpent with a wonderful gift. Represents the spirit of generosity. And twilight. 
Obviously, she represents the spirit of magic. The most important and key aspect of friendship. And, okay guys, that's the end of the day's le tonight's lesson. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Okay guys, now that was a study with Twilight on fairness and friendship. Now we need to just move swiftly on from this, because I don't have a lot of time left, so we'll end this episode with this. Live from wherever you are right now, it's the news! Okay, today's news, guys. Hello, I'm James Barrett, this is Nightly Newscast, and today's news is big green things are dropping out of the sky at an unheard of rate. Nobody knows what these big green things are. One can only assume they're frogs or toads, but they are not. We don't know what they are. Scientists are now trying to examine them, but they're not getting any closer to finding out what they are. I've been James Barrett. This has been your Nightly Newscast. And until Monday, good night, and have a good weekend. And that's it for this episode, guys. Don't worry, though, because I'll be back tomorrow with episode 21 of the Chill Outs. So, until then... The Chill Out is 20 episodes down. And now has 44 to go. And... Until tomorrow, have a nice day.